So I look at myself as the center with different spokes around my life wheel, however you want to put it. And I think about what are the important parts in my life that keep me healthy and keep me grounded and help me function effectively. And so for everybody, it's going to be different, but there are some basic ones that we all share. And so first is your physical health. If you are not taking care of your body, paying attention to any physical symptoms that you have, getting appropriate checkups, that can put you at risk for just becoming um, unraveled and unbalanced and extra stressed. So you have to keep up with your dentist appointments, with your medical doctor appointments, and you cannot put your life on hold while you're in grad school. An additional thing that's also important is just maintaining a healthy diet and a healthy way that you eat. I was, as I was sort of thinking ahead for this talk, I was remembering several times before major exams when I would think to myself, I've tried everything in this vending machine. What can I possibly piece together that will make up a decent dinner? And the truth is nothing from a vending machine will make a decent dinner. So you actually have to plan ahead for this stress, we know the test is coming, and say to yourself, how about if I get together with friends, we all make a healthy meal that includes something green, naturally green, protein, um, and those are the big things that I can always leave out because I usually can live on bread, butter, and cheese, and that's not a very healthy way to go. So you have to remind yourself, eat something that's green and leafy, eat something that has low-fat protein in it. Um, and then you have to plan ahead and actually bring your lunch to school and bring dinner to school if you anticipate that you're going to stay a long time. So when I'm thinking about the healthy, centered me, I'm thinking about my physical health, um, what I'm eating um, diet-wise or food-wise, and then I need to think about exercise, which links in with my physical health as well. Um, it is very easy to get into the habit of saying, I don't have enough time to exercise. I've got this exam coming. There's no way I can fit in time. And sometimes people will say, if I'm going to work out, it has to be a full one-hour workout. And otherwise, it doesn't count at all. And so they have sort of this all-or-nothing thinking about exercising. If you walk briskly, even I tell my patients this, even if you do it for 10 minutes, it is better than doing nothing at all. And so allow yourself that freedom of at least squeezing in 20 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of exercise, whatever number will actually make you do it. Um, in physical exercise, the goal is to do it regularly during the week if you can, and particularly to load up on it during a high stress situation. So when you have an exam, that is not the time to stop exercising. With me, I always find that it's easy to get very bored with going to the gym. And so it's almost like you have to trick yourself into thinking that exercise is fun. It was much easier when we were younger and we would go sledding or on the playground and you wouldn't even realize that you were getting a workout in. So find a way to trick yourself. Um, I'm obsessed with my Zumba class. And so for me, that is the way that I trick myself. I dance, work up a sweat, and I've actually gotten a decent workout in. Um, other people are, love going to, you know, jogging on the treadmill, swimming, mix it up, get, you know, get a good playlist going so that you're entertained during it. And then really praise yourself when you do any of these positive things. So for me, whenever I go like jogging downtown, and we have a gorgeous harbor, it's, it really is a luxury to be able to jog and look at the beautiful water, all of the boats and the scenery. As soon as I do something like that, I text my girlfriend and let her know what I've accomplished because I need that feedback and that positive reinforcement that I just did something good for myself. Um, recruit a friend or guilt a friend into exercising with you. Don't let each other get away with just being um, couch potatoes. I don't know what the equivalent would be for a grad student. Desk potatoes and just not leaving your study zone. <laughs>